Now I find it hard to listen to ones that aren't recorded, like, properly. Yeah. But I haven't listened to any others, really. Right. Just listen to your own. Oh, You're a bit like me. Don't even listen to my own. Yes. Like... See, I do, and I listen to mine every time I go to bed, and I'll whack off to it. Like, I find that it really, it really centres me. To your own voice? To the sound of my own voice, yeah. You're recording this now, am I Yeah, I'm enough? recording this now, yeah. Am I loud enough? Yeah, testing one, two, three. This is the sound check. Right. Yeah. You've got to put your sunglasses on? got to put the sunnies on, mate, uh, mm. uh, just to cover up the tears. I might shut this door as well. Okay. Because uh, there has been plumbing issues, all right? Oh. So I do ask that if you do uh, use the shitter, uh, that you sit down to take a piss. There has been issue with some of the guests coming onto the show, uh, putting their dribble all over the floor, and it's not on. I will not stand for it, John. Okay. Uh, I, might I introduce you? It's uh, Jonathan or John? Had, what do we go by? What do you mean? John. John. <laughs> but jo- it's Jonathan. Jonathan. Really? That's how it's spelled. But no one knows me as Jonathan. Not just your mother. My calls mum. You, your mum calls you Jonathan. Uh, yep. Is she still around? Sorry, mum. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I often find when I do talk about people's mums that it does. You know, it's they're quite often dead. Yeah, sometimes they're dead. Uh, and that's it's horrible. That's not I your terrible. fault. Yeah, it's, it's not your fault that they're dead. You didn't kill them, did no, you? No, no, not at all. I wonder what the fuck was I supposed to know? You know. Is he done? Yeah, so we've got uh, John Bennett. I first met you at PJ's. This is going back probably 20 years, mate. Yep. Yep, I reckon. Yeah. Doing comedy. Doing comedy? Because you started off at Bolt's Cafe, didn't you? I did... Yeah, I did... Uh, what is it called? The Raw Comedy at Bolt's. Yeah. Raw Comedy Bolt's. What yep. year was that? That Must yeah. have been 2000, I reckon. Was that... So it's 20 year... years ago that I started doing comedy. That was comedy. 20 years ago. And that was... That's fucked. <laughs> is it? 20 years That's, that's a long that. time That's two decades mate you, That is two decades That's four or five tw- years that, That's half your life That is exactly half my life Exactly half your life So 20 years ago you were 20 Mm-hmm. Fucking hell mate you Well think- cheers to that Congratulations yeah. 20 years of doing comedy You'd think I'd get better Well have you got better? I don't know. That's the that's the age old question. You you've certainly got better at selling tickets. Sometimes. Yeah. Depends where you go. Not in Sydney. <laughs> no, you fuck you can't sell no, tickets. Actually, I did alright in Sydney. Yeah. Dunno. What's been your best festival? Because you you've done the whole world, haven't you? International. Mm-hmm. Um the best ones are the one I don't care too much about. Uh, money. Because yeah, you're, an, like you're enjoying, an artist, aren't you? Oh, I just you? like enjoying the place. Of course. So my favourite festival is in a place called Victoria on Vancouver Island. Is that part of Montreal? No, it's the other side. It's Vancouver Island. Oh, Vancouver. <laughs> Sorry, it's not... <laughs> Obviously. Montreal's also one of my favourite favorite festivals. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's just name-dropping for you, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's way cooler if I say that you've done Montreal co- Comedy Festival. Well, I've than, done Montreal. Then you just slip it in the conversation, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I should have said my favourite festival is um, Coachella. <laughs> right, what's that? It's actually Woodstock from the 70s is my favourite... Fuck off. It's my favourite festival. <laughs> that I, that I, that's my favourite of all the festivals. Mm. That one, maybe... Uh, oh, yeah, Coachella... 2000. Because it's invite only, isn't it? It's Coachella? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just dropping stupid festivals. Um, but no, Victoria has. Uh, I get to see whales, and that's what I care about. I just want to see whales. And they've got a big whale, they've got tons of like orcas and humpbacks you, and beautiful yeah. nature. Can you just go to Victor Harbour for that, mate? It's a lot mm. closer. Bears. I see bears in Victoria as well. I like bits here and bears. You like bears? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both the animal and uh, very large gay men. Oh, right. Okay. And I enjoy both types of bear. Yeah. We, we otters. Could... There's otters. That's like a hessuit, he, 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 uh smaller gay man. Oh. In the gay world, I'm an otter. Interesting. I don't know all these terminologies. So it's, 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 a, it's just a, what you're learning today. It's, it's based on animals, isn't it? No, not always. Not you're always. a twink. A twink? Oh, yes, yes. More effeminate. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep, yep. So the rich cunts normally like them. They'd... Yeah. There's all other ones. I don't know the rest. Anyway, but... There's like, you know, Daffy Ducks and all that sort of fucking... What's a Daffy Duck? Oh, I don't know. Isn't it some 
guy that used to be in the Navy or something. I don't know, mate. There's, there's a guy that used to be in the Navy is known know, as a Daffy Duck. I don't know, mate. It could be a Donald Duck. A you... Donald Duck. Hang on, maybe I'll ask Siri. No, Donald Duck... A Donald Duck is someone who walks around with no pants on and only a top. Oh, right, okay, That's yeah. In the nudist or, world. In a, or it was a nappy, maybe. No. No nappies. No. Okay. That's well, a baby. That's known as a baby. <laughs> in the gay world, they're called a baby. The right, right. Nappy. Who makes up these names? Do you coin your own? Have you ever coined your own? I like being an otter. Yeah, okay. I found a little bit special treat for you, mate. I just uh, okay. was digging out my old... Uh, DVDs last night, mm-hmm. and uh, I came across this little number, so I thought I'd play this for you. This will bring back some memories. Oh wow! Yeah, um, you've got this on DVD. I do, mate. I found the ugly stick on DVD. Oh. So uh, when and was the last time you saw this, mate? To know. Don't years know. ago. Years ago. It's there like, I am in the corner. There, there you are in the corner. So this is John's uh, web series uh, when the internet was first a thing. Mm. Back in. The... No, it was on Channel Thirty One. It was real TV. Oh, fantastic. So you've done it. What is this? Is this, this my special? Or this is, is your this... special, mate. You've... Did I give this to you? Yeah, I saw that years ago. This. Yeah. Oh, I want to borrow this now. You certainly may. I How just... long does it go for? It's about 60 minutes, but by the time it gets into 20, it's 60 just minutes? Skips. Yeah, it's, it starts to skip around the 23 minute mark. When you're uh, you're doing this sketch where you're just urinating, I tried to watch it last night. Ah, yeah, I remember that. The Urban Sage. Yeah, so I got better that far. And then it skips. And then it skips. So I, I put toothpaste on it and I tried to revive it. Hmm. And I was looking on other videos. I really like the titles, Matt. Yeah, it's really this can hold up. Nick Maxwell, he's become quite successful. Right. What's he do now? Is he? Uh, he was on like the Sweetest Plum, I think, was his podcast, and then I think he writes for uh, McAuliffe and these things. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, he was good. Well, so, he still is good. Yeah, yeah. So this is the ugly stick. We're uh, doing the director's commentary now. What is going to be first? Oh yeah, Urban Sage. <laughs> I'm a big hairy Moses-like yeah. character. Yeah, just. Uh, just settle in, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, while we watch this, we're just having a couple of beers. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just getting a bit distracted here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I was excited about to find this, though. That's really Because I remembered I had it, and then I started dragging through all my shit. Now, that's Michael likes his face touch. That one's pretty good. This is my favourite here. Chimney sweep? Chimney sweep is good, but this is wow. the auditions. Oh, Glenn. I love that chicken ticker, but that's hilarious. This is a character I do called Glenn. He wears a helmet all the time with his name on it. Right. So why did you do characters? Why didn't you just do kind of John or the other people? Why did you... This was a long time ago. I yeah. don't know. They asked me to do this show, so I did it. Yeah. I wasn't very good at... I'm not very good at acting. Yeah. I like little... There's subtle things in this one. He's wearing two watches. <laughs> He's also got a hospital band on. Yeah. We're going back, what, 20 years now? Mm, Probably no, just a little bit less, 15. Yeah, maybe. So we've been doing comedy, what, four or five years, and I was doing sort of similar stuff, Channel 31. Did you kind of think that this, this was your ticket, like you were going to make it? Because Rove. Rove and... and yeah. And uh, Hamish and Andy. Yeah. Like the... the, the... Yeah. They, we won all the awards for this show. At the back of the time when no one was doing it as well, it was mm-hmm. not like everyone had an iPhone and they were all making... Videos. Yeah. yeah, I like this. He puts some roll on deodorant on. Yeah. Just because he gets upset. <laughs> Is this hard to watch? Because yeah. it's so long ago. Is it difficult? It's fine. Yeah. I don't remember it. Some really funny impressions that you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is just good. Yeah. He's doing his impressions. And I love the. I love the hand, so he's drawn a picture of his sister on your yeah. hand, is that right? Yep. This was a good character too. I just haven't seen any of these. Mate, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give this to you. If you, can, if you can work out how to get your second half. It's on YouTube. All of the episodes are on YouTube. It's called The oh, Ugly yeah. Stick. You can watch every episode. But this is just the best Check of me. Check it out. Yeah. 
pretty bad. Oh, is that why you're in it a lot? I was yeah, wondering why I was I don't want to watch all, all of those. This is 20 episodes and they've only found half an hour of my stuff. I was wondering why you're at the bottom of the credits, but then you're mm-hmm. featuring in all the sketches. Yeah, no, I was only in a few of... One, one episode I got. Right. Oh, oh, so this is all the shit that made the cutting room floor. Yeah, this is probably all cut out. <laughs> I'd cut it out, right? Yeah, I like that. It's like his, sh- his professional showreel. I'm just haunting oh, this, him with it. What's this one? So this is basic uh, ah. job interviews. Did I write this? I don't know, mate. I know nothing about it. I must that. have written it if it's all my stuff. Yeah, this is just basically sitting in the bottom of my shit that's moved in every fucking house wow. in the last ten years. Can we really? Oh, I did do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot this sketch altogether. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did, I did four TV shows on 31 that were like... There was a lot. Yeah. How to handle a job interview. I can't remember this at all. That's my friend James, though. He's gone completely bald. All right. He's a good-looking guy, though. Yeah. Sometimes it pays just to shave it off if you're getting a little patch. That's what he's you know, done. Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel I should turn it up a bit more, mate. Oh, go for it. I just don't remember this at all. I do like money quite a lot. So Everyone's releasing their sketches now, so I'm like, I should cut this up and put it on stuff, right? So, like I said, I'm a Def- Definitely, mate. Right. Um, <laughs> on Instagram or something. This is a yeah, well, if you, if you want me to maybe... Uh, you like I'll see if I can rip it off I with my Mac. I've got an old Mac. I'll do that. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll give you a digital copy, mate. Because who has CDs and DVDs anymore? Nobody. Yeah. James is a very funny actor. Yeah. Seems as the prolonged CEO handshake. The employee yeah, and he always looks like the camera. Dignity and composure will make a fine change. Speaking of old school stuff, Ooh, I've got a little uh, little package for you, mate, to take away with you. So there's some uh, some matches. Where did you get these made? Made them up. There's a three and a half inch floppy disk. Good. There's one and a half promo videos. And do you have a cassette player? No. Okay. Well, there's uh, these very limited edition cassette tape. Wow. That's yours. That's very good, thank you. No worries. I might take these headphones out just because I don't need them. <laughs> There's the chimney sweep. This is so funny, I... Door-to-door gynecology? You sick of having to travel to your gynecologist? Well, now you don't have to. Look I'll at you, you're blackfacing low, 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 before blackfacing was cool again, mate. Mm. I wonder if that would get called. That would... You'd get called out on that now. Not this year. It's just... Soot. I know, exactly. I'm a, I'm a chimney sweep. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Just want to point out that John's not racist, by the way. Oh, I'm racist. Oh, are you? Oh, cool. We're all racist. We all have inherent mis- uh, uh, racism inside us. Yeah. And we need to acknowledge that and try and be better people and stop being racist. It's good. I like that. There you go. There's an attitude consultant. Take that away. The problem yeah. is, is we have this... Stigma mm-hmm. attached mm-hmm. to being called racist, whereas if we just realise that we grew up in a very racist society, yeah, then we can acknowledge our ignorance and move on and try and be better people and try and not be racist. Yeah, I like that. I like right? that just generally. Everybody I'm... is racist. Every white person is probably racist because they yeah. were brought up with racist ideals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racist so people. let's acknowledge it and be like, fuck. Well, let's acknowledge the cuntiness of us, just generally, yeah, like right? all of our bullshit. Just acknowledge our bullshit and become better people and yeah. move on. Yeah. I like that, mate. Yeah. yeah. yeah so you've got around. Leisure Sweet Larry? I do. On, what is that on? Uh, that's on the Xbox. Is it bad or is it, is it, is it... It's as bad as you can imagine horn, it. Is it it's... horny? Doesn't he, like, isn't he a horny guy who gets to... Yeah. Uh, well, this is more just adult humour and referencing it. Mm. Like, it's... Like, you wouldn't whack off to it. You wouldn't even whack off making it. Stop. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even whack off making it. That's how, that's how shit this game is. 
<laughs> we wouldn't even masturbate while making it. Yeah. <laughs> None of the programmers masturbated at all. They wanted to. The game wasn't good enough. Yeah, yeah. That's just weren't feeling it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's a... <laughs> I've only just gotten into games because of isolation and... Cool. Being, being, being stuck back. Mm-hmm. And I started playing PlayStation 4. Yeah. I started playing The Witcher. And I played for 14 hours. All I wanted to do was have sex in it. Because I was like, wow. Nice. 14 hours of game playing to yeah. finally have sex. And the sex only goes for like 30 seconds. And there's, a good, there's a good YouTube video of, of, of me finally getting to have sex on the... On Witcher, and then losing my mind about how. Why didn't you just YouTube it? It would have saved 14 hours, mate. This not wasn't on there. I tried to YouTube it. Oh, but I don't think so. But did you? But did you get? You got there eventually. 14 hours. I, yeah, and then I had did, sex for for 20 seconds. Did the controller vibrate at all? I think it did. Oh, yeah. nice. And you got in the no. you see breasts. Oh. But I just remember as a kid that was our whole thing. Is like. Let's play Killer Instinct, and like if you type, there was always rumours that if you type in the right thing, yeah, up down left people right, get, people get naked, or you know you see some some computer breasts. We were so obsessed with yeah. computer game breasts then. Yeah, and there was another one. It was uh, Duke Nukem or something. Yeah, you, you could go into it. a strip joint. Yeah, shake it, baby. Yeah, man. And now what's what's the horniest game there is now? So, There's got to be porn games, right? There would have to be. I think there'd be a real market for real porn games. Like VR, there's VR porn now. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, it has to be interactive now because that's the only way that kids can come nowadays. Not like that, we have to use our imagination, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. It's just a... I, yeah. Do you ever have... I've called it a, like a memory wink. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is where you just use your memories... Yeah, yeah. The, the best ones. Old are, school, old school memory wank. The best memory wanks are when you take these moments where you kind of it was a close but no cigar moment where you might have fucked up the opportunity. Oh. But you take yourself back to that point in time and you uh, kind of approach it. Say so you're successful, basically. Oh, I don't know. That's not how I do it. You don't do it. <laughs> oh, okay, you just. I just remember the good, the good times. The good that times. I just have memories. Yeah, I'm, I'm not enough. creative enough to create an alternate right. ending. I was chatting to a friend about this the other day. About you, 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 what you do is you do imagination wanks. I do memory wanks. Okay, yeah. And you do okay, imagination so. ones where you imagine a different outcome. Yeah, no need to brag. Okay, yeah, so clearly, I do actual memory ones. Clearly, clearly the saying you, you did have successful memories to, to yeah, go back on. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that means about me and you. You just, well, oh, you're, you're more creative. You have to well, that's it. What I heard someone say the other day yeah. is that the reason you, the reason people get into kinks, well, yeah. like some people yeah. get into different kinks and that sort of thing is more for the memory rather than the actual act. Interesting. So you do these sort of kinky, weird things so that yeah. you can take a memory in your brain and use that for masturbation later, not because you're actually getting off at the time. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. So that's why people get into all these kinks, because they're like, this will be good for later. File it away kind of thing. Right? Instead of... Yeah. Instead of actually enjoying that actual moment, because you can... But but, but sex is 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 a very intimate thing, and I almost find that disrespectful to not immerse yourself in the moment and be present. But you are present. But but you're not. Your mind's elsewhere. But you physically you're present. I don't think you know you're not you're not imagining at that time. This is for your masturbation later. Okay, yeah. No worries. So at the time you're we're talking about filing it away, does that ever occur to you during sex? No. You know no. I mean? no, at the time you're into it because you're trying to process this okay. this event. Yeah. I was talking to a friend the other day. About later. I was talking to a friend the other day that often uh, likes to replay past events during the act, and I'm assuming mm-hmm. that he likes to do them from behind. Um, so he imagines someone else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, I find that disrespectful. Well, well, not if he's not. Well, into whatever rocks your boat. You know? Well, that's true. Who's to say? We're not the yeah. police of. What I always say is never yuck someone's yum. Yeah. 
Because who am I? You like doing that? Then do that. Why not? I guess, yes, as long as you're present. Doesn't bother me. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Even if you're not present, if that's what you're into, that's cool. Whatever you want. Yeah. As long as you're not hurting anyone. That's the main thing. It's the only thing that matters. Don't hurt anyone. Yeah. But what if not being present does hurt someone? Well, then that's what you've got to take into account, then. Yeah, and maybe just move the fuck along. Hmm. Or deal with it. Is there more beer? There is, (laughs) man. There is, man. Oh, please. Oh, it's taken a long time to sign into Leisure Sweet Larry, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into Leisure Sweet. We don't have to. You said it's bad. You said that even the makers didn't masturbate. And if the, if the makers of it didn't masturbate, then that's not a game I want to be a part of. Yeah, that's right. I only like games where I know that the people who made the game have pleasured themselves while making it. <laughs> right? Correct. That's Correct. They're the only games I want to play. So this is the old sort of... No, no, no! Oh, oh, sorry, mate, I threw it at you. Do you have a a towel or something? Oh, don't worry about it, mate. Just fix it up later. Okay. Yeah, so many times. I've jerked off on that couch so many times, mate. Don't worry about it. Oh, (laughs) boy. So Leisure Sweet Larry is is like a balding... He looks like he's balding with that. Yeah. He's... He hasn't really aged though. Look at his got Even that now, the pillows. woman in the the woman in the thing is pixelated. Yeah, there's a lot of little shout outs. Like a little nod. So you to don't the get to you don't have sex in this. Or probably. see naked. Like I, yeah, it's probably a bit of that. If you watch uh, you know, streaming things, there's quite often ads for adult games, but I never click on them because I think they're a scam or something. Probably are. Plus, why do I want to play an adult? Do I want to play an adult game? I guess I do, because I liked that... Wi- well, I didn't like the Witcher thing, but I played it for so long just to... Hey, Aaron. What's up? How's oh, yeah. the show doing? I have to get back to business soon, too. Sorry, mate. You're looking really bored with this interview. I can't... Oh, no, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. I'm just... No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were yawning earlier. I always thought that's a, that's a... Yawning doesn't mean bored. Yawning means tired. Oh, right. Is it right? Do you, do you want coffee or something? No. Can I if I have coffee, I'll be awake all night. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. But I, can, I kind of feel it's an interesting podcast where we're just watching shit and narrating. <laughs> I, think it, I reckon it's been all right. Yeah. <laughs> I've, dro- I've dropped some real bombs. Yeah. I've talked about racism. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. Talked about the masturbating because of you, you do kinky things because you want a memory so you can masturbate about them later. Yeah. yeah. That's like the essence of kink, I think. Yeah. The thing is, like, I, I've, I've said this a few times. I don't know if I told you. I went five years where I couldn't wank. Like, I couldn't come for five years. Just through the spinal injury. So So was, you couldn't physically masturbate? Couldn't physically or mentally or whatever. Like just erectile wow. dis, erectile dysfunction from spinal injury. Like what I was that like? Fucking frustrating as all fuck, mate. So you still get like horny. Yeah, but you can't act upon it. So it's wow. yeah, it's it's fucked. So wait. So this is this was around this early sort of my <laughs> thing, right? You almost revert back to being mm-hmm. like early teenagers before yeah, you like had your first year old wank. Boy here. Yeah, yeah. You go back to that twelve-year-old time where you you still you're still pimped up, but you haven't experienced your first wank. Wow. So yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you didn't ejaculate for five years. For five years. Correct. And when did when was the first time after those five years? Uh, on my. Shut up. Yeah, and no, I'm serious. No. Yeah, it was amazing. But, so the first time you ejaculated after five years... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a bit weird, though, that then your thing was, like, the first place, the first time you ejaculated was... It was sensational, mate. There was tears. Like... There was tears. It was great. Okay. Because there is that thing that is also in a lot of porn, yeah. which I find interesting, is everyone wants to... Yeah, if, if they it, like it, sure, the same deal. Don't yuck anyone's yum. Yeah. But it doesn't seem, of all the places to... Why? Why? What a, why? Maybe it's... They're just doing what people like, I guess, or people want to see. So it just seems weird that... Why, why do we want to... What a podcast. Yeah. And you said it was getting boring. <laughs> 
can you edit it so that I what I would like is yeah a minute of just conversation where like there's a bleep every like ten seconds of the thing and then uh, people cool. will be like what the fuck were they talking about perfect if you can make a minute yeah. of a conversation where it seems like we are talking about very very big but you've got to bleep it yeah so every time we I love a good bleep yeah I also like in podcasts discussing how I'm going to edit it because it makes it a fuck ton of it's easy to edit later I'm very obsessed with the patriarchy at the moment where it's right. like we've learned all this these ways to be and we've ignored these w- women for such a long time. Mm-hmm. And so the idea of being like, why can't I just get surgery where blah, I would say a lot more women find sex painful or can't orgasm or all of this stuff. So yeah, it's like, you know, maybe give them a shot first. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, maybe you got to take this one. You got to take this one for the team. Sure, why not, mate? Yeah, for quality. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe just don't complain, mate. Am maybe I, just don't complain. Just be happy. I, am I coming across like like I'm complaining? Uh, no, no. I have a, I had every right to be frustrated during that time of like all oh, of a for sudden sure. having your cum privileges taken away. I believe that I had a, a point to be frustrated mm. and somewhat depressed about it. Mm. But you can put it into perspective. And be like, oh, this is what it's like for. It did cross my mind quite a few times. And there are some people who never get to come. Yeah. I, I have a few friends who find sex very painful, mm-hmm. and and they just sort of put up with it. Yeah. It's Women a, friends. Not even just the gender thing, but being in spinal rehab, the issue of sexual dysfunction wasn't brought up in our recovery. Like it was all about pissing and shitting. So a lot of it was just discussion over the dinner table on how we deal with our frustrations or... Uh, so in that, do you feel like you took sex for granted? Um, we used inappropriate humour. Who, who used inappropriate? Detailed to us recovered patients. Oh, right. Yeah. Like I mean, pre- humour is the best thing to do that. Way. Yeah. I mean, there was a priest that I, that I became really good mates with in rehab. And I'm mm. trying to say to him, like, our cocks can't work. And a lot of discussions I said to him, I said, well, you're a priest, so obviously, obviously that's a good thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, because right. Because no. Because you don't want to get yourself in trouble, you what know. What did he say to that? Well, his, his response to that was, I don't need it to work, but I just want to know that it can if I had to. Weird. Okay. I mean, I can't well, imagine well, what goes through priests' minds. I've got to pee in your toilet. Yeah, mate. Um... You can record the peeing if you want. Yeah, no worries. Well, uh, while you're while you're doing your peeing, I might take this opportunity just to plug. Um, Where's the light? This podcast. Oh, sorry, mate. The other side. Um, I'll pee directly into the water so you can hear it. All right, no worries, mate. <laughs> John's uh, just. Uh, what what what, is, what are you doing on Sunday, mate? All right, so he's doing a John Bennett versus Jason Donovan on um, Curry Street, is it? What? You're doing it at Curry Street? Curry Street, Arthur Bar. Arthur Bar. Arthur Art Bar, I think it's called. All right, yeah, Arthur Art Bar. I, I hope you're not doing that all over the fucking carpet, mate. What, there's no carpet in Oh, I mean the, the tiles. No, you can hear it straight in the water. All right, straight down the bowl. Have, how's the toilet duck blue? Is the toilet water going blue yet? Oh, I don't know. I didn't sit down either. No, that's all right, mate. It's it's about the plumbing. The water goes a bit brownish, and it looks like shit. So I thought I'd wait better cover up that brown water uh, from the the old pipes. I thought you put a little blue thing in there. When you go into a into a public toilet in a uh, in a bar, yeah, or in a, you know, in a in public, yeah. Uh, do you go in? Do you go on the urinal or on the stall? Uh, I generally go on the stall because I've got to like self. You I've sit got down. To, I've got to catheterize now. Do you really? Yeah. So you just empty your bag. Well, it's not a bag. It's um, it's a short term one. Mm-hmm. So I I had a bag for a while when I was in rehab, and I it was so horrible to try and get into it while you've got a fucking piss bag laying in between you. How big is the bag? The the bag used to sit around my legs Mm. like when I was in the wheelchair. Oh, okay. So I'd I'd stay home during the weekends in rehab 
And so um, Nikki had like a really high bed, so I'd have to pull the chair up. And at that time, I didn't. I'd had to learn how to transfer from out of my chair into mm. chairs and beds and stuff. So how long did this take? How long was this? It took me a couple of months to learn to learn how to properly transfer because I had to really build up. My, I was I was beefed up, like okay. shoulders and that, mm. and arms, just from wheeling up hills and getting in and mm. out of chairs. Yeah. So it took a lot of physio, a lot of training, and that sign you off on that because all I wanted to do was come back in my own space and be independent. Right. So that moment that I knew that I was going to be completely independent and not have to do some fucking home or with ramps or even move mm. out of this place was when I could take myself out of my chair and then transfer back off the floor. Mm. It was like a logbook system, basically, on independence. Did they think that you were going to be in the wheelchair for longer? Well, they thought I would be in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. Really? Yeah. But I was, I was having walking sticks and I had a frame when I got out and I couldn't run but I could skip just because <laughs> of the... Just because of the... Oh, it'd be you could so good if you could only skip now. Muscles, yeah. just, you just had to skip everywhere. Yeah, it's like and running late for so a good. bus. You just have to yeah. skip. Yeah, that's it. And skip down the aisle of the bus. <laughs> that's your... You, there's no yeah. walking, there's no running, only yeah. skipping. Yeah, you could have like the Special Olympics, like a skip. You just have to skip. skipping. 100 yeah. metres skipping. Well, you'd be the only... Well, maybe other people could skip too. Yeah, yeah, that's it. For, for people that can't run but can skip. Hmm. You could become a good swimmer if your upper body got strong from the wheelchair. Yeah, well, that's the thing is um, because you did a lot of hydrotherapy. So before I could walk, um, I could a- I could actually walk in water just because I could recruit this certain yeah, yeah. muscles around the around the side. So I thought if I could move to Venice, I'd be fine. You know, I could just get around everywhere. <laughs> I mean, just... I like where you went with that joke. But well, just needs a you do know that, no, you know that Venice isn't all underwater, right? No, <laughs> they don't just still walk in waist deep water. <laughs> I've never been there. Oh no, it's the sidewalk. They have like right, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I understand what you meant. Yeah, but, you like the premise. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but just needs Venice, to be unfortunately, <laughs> like you're not completely underwater all the time. Right, okay. You're thinking of uh, wherever Poseidon lives. <laughs> You want to live with Poseidon and the and the Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah, perfect, mm. perfect. <laughs> Take me there. I mean, Venice. <laughs> it made sense. I mean, I got it. Right. As long as you're fucking. You're not. A, you don't get out, and then all of a sudden you're in waist deep water all the time. Well, that's true. I mean, yeah. it just shows my ignorance. But that would be a good place to live, though. Well, and who says comedy has to make sense, John? There you go. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> there was that. There was the woman. Do you remember the the woman who lived with the dolphin no and she like spent her she lived like in waist deep you that's where you need to live okay in like sea world at that point in time in a bit of sea world yeah this is the rumor the right, rumor was right. this woman was a dolphin trainer and she had like these dolphins that she lived with and they lived in this sort of house where a lot of the time she was in the water and they were with her apparently she didn't have sex with the dolphins but she did jerk them off okay. because they were just better behaved that was her that was her mentality for it she's right. just like look that he's horny ref- and he's no good when he doesn't learn so I quickly jerk him off and then he learns better yep so it was like that that refractory period was there it was the heightened um, opportunity for her to, to teach yeah so she right. was like quick let's just yeah. get this out of the way yeah but also she was living well, who knows this is all this all could just be a myth yeah, let's just say you're a dolphin and she was jerking you off, right? Well, I how had, would that change your behaviour? I had this with a with a with a girlfriend, right? That it was she was very big on like when we would have sex. After the sex, she's all invigorated and you know yeah. hyped up, and it's like having a coffee. Whereas for me, it's like oh, I gotta have a rest. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we're ex- I'm expelling. Liquid Nutri- yeah. nutrients. Yeah. Hmm. I had sex twelve times when I lost my virginity. Wow. Because I was because th- I never knew if it was going to happen again. So I was like, you got to do it every single time yeah. over like a day and a half. It was a lot. Yeah. yeah. Just didn't know when it was ever going to finish. Yeah. I'm playing. Uh, well, not I finished playing it, but I was playing 
Zelda on Switch. Oh, nice. I haven't played and that one. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, I was a huge, I'm a huge fan of the Zelda franchise. Mm. Just the puzzles and the... Yep. But my horse's name is Cum. Oh, right. It's a white horse, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, was that, I thought it was a Pona. You what? Can name, a Pona was the name of the horse in Zelda. Oh, no, you get to name you your own horse. You horses. catch and name your own. I've got Cum. Yeah. I've got Fuckwit. Yeah. And I can't remember the other one's name. Might be Dickhead. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, I love the Zelda. Cum's my favourite. Yeah. Beautiful white horse. Yeah. No, I love a bit of Zelda. Yeah. Oh, the new one on Switch is amazing. Oh, one of the best games ever. Worth getting the Switch just for Zelda? Yep. Alright. I did a gig on a cruise ship. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, but cruise ships are... A lot of downtime, isn't there? They're tough. They're tough yeah. going. But yeah. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of downtime and I... So I played all of Zelda on the cruise ship. Yeah. And then I bought it again and I played it again. All the, all, the, all the poor guys in Melbourne are just going, I wish I'd never complained about being in a cruise ship. Like they, yeah. They're like, I took all this downtime for granted. Now I'm stuck in Melbourne. Like, wow, a day and a half in a cabin playing Zelda. What a treat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. Do you miss the cruise ships? Um, I've only done three of them. Yeah. Um, I didn't like them. No. They're not fun. Okay. Um, some people love them. Yeah. But I am not someone... I struggled with isolation as well. Like, so I came back from America when COVID happened and had to... So went in a hotel for two months. Oh, uh, right. two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, yeah. And then another two weeks when I got back to Adelaide. And I need people to do stuff. Otherwise, if I'm left to my own devices... Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. So I'm not very outgoing on that side of things. So, you know, people who work out <laughs> yeah. will love it. People who, you know, are fine with their own company yeah, yeah, yeah. will love it. So I'm I'll not fine it. with my own company. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, so obviously I am pretty comfortable with it. This is Miley's your company. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen such a shrine to a, 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 a pop singer. Yeah. Are you, are you kind of, is it a bit freaky, do you think? Is it too far? It's interesting. Yeah. Why do you think you love her so much? It started as a joke. Like of that course photo, it started as a that joke. That photo behind you, um, just the stop following me, love Miley. Is this real? You met her? No, no that was um, just Photoshop, but people thought it was real. So it just started. That's very the, funny. And then it kind of just progressed. It, it's almost like this obsessive comedy. Like, is it Bart Free? Yeah, Bart Free Ben. And when he does the stuff about coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I find really funny. Yeah, it, it almost became my my coffee joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's good. It's exactly yeah. No, comedy wise, it's yeah. exactly that. So. The the best, my favourite thing about comedy, yes. if we're going to get into this, yes. is just commitment. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. So commitment to a, to a thing, commit to the, I always say commit to the bit, Yeah, is what I enjoy the most. So I've been doing the photo series Pretending Things Are a Cock for ten fucking years now. Perfect. I'm glad you brought it up. Ten because... years. Wow. Of making... Of taking photos of me pretending that things are my cock. And that started with your travels, didn't it? Like, you yeah. just go and there, there's like a monolith or something mm-hmm. like that, and, or an obelisk or something, and you put a book together, didn't you? Yeah. There's a book, it was an yeah. exhibition. The exhibition was my favourite. Yeah. Of just, like, we really, like, wanked up the, the exhibition of, like, this is a, a, an illustration of masculinity and irony within... Yes. Uh, within society and all of this stuff which is so stupid (laughs) and it's just the commitment to the bit and that's the same as Freebens who I love his coffee stuff it's so funny yeah yeah have you ever seen Coffee Dad? no no I haven't no no, I've just engaged online with the Facebook my favourite so he's done a he's done a show no this is a different person okay Coffee Dad is a Twitter account it's been going for years 
yeah. and it's just your general dad looking guy yep. and he just tweets about coffee so he'll say stuff like uh, uh, you know his tweet for the day will be like time for a coffee next day nothing like a hot coffee and he gets his hashtags all mixed up so he'll nice. be like nothing like hashtag A space coffee coffee time time for coffee all I really want now is a nice hot coffee and that's his whole thing every day yeah he posts about coffee then maybe once in the month you slowly find out that his son has been killed in a motorcycle accident <laughs> yes. so uh, I could not believe it <laughs> and it's just like it's just like time for a coffee Hashtag I space love coffee on a Wednesday. Coffee time. Coffee today and all of this stuff. And you've got to sift through it. And then every now and then, I wish you were still here with me, son. I miss you every single day. Please, everyone, be careful on the roads out there. (laughs) Coffee time today. Nothing like a coffee. And then, like, another month goes by. And then it's like, like I miss you every single day. Uh, Please, everyone... Take care on the roads. We didn't see. We didn't know that truck was going to be there. You know that, and then it's coffee like, time. Coffee this, and it just goes down. And slowly, you find out all the details of how his son has been killed in a motorcycle accident. Wow! And if it is not real, yeah, the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. Maybe, maybe it is real. I it's hope it's this, not. It's moment of disassociation. No, how he dis- no. How he copes with that. So I think it's this irony. Yes, I hope it is. It's the same reason I think Kanye. I wish Kanye was irony, but he's not. But this is this is different. Well, it's so what if this, good. this commitment and this obsession back to your project, which is pretending things are a cock. At what point did that kind of fun journey become art? Like you put an exhibition together, so yeah. obviously it's it's now a point where it's like, well, this is art. And it is art. I don't care yeah. what people say. Everything's it is art. art. Everything's art. Yeah, but when did it become art? At what point? I would say from the very beginning. From the beginning. Yeah, did it was you, always art. But did you know that? Yeah. You knew that? It started with my housemate taking black and white photos of me just around the house yeah. with household items. And we decided, he called it pretending things were a cock. And we just thought it was a funny thing to post online. Nice. And all of our friends were like, this is hilarious. They were black and white photos done sort of nicely framed and yeah. composition and everything. And we just called it pretending things were a cock. And we just thought it was a funny thing for our mates. And then I started traveling and I said to him, look, I'll do ones around the world. But it was mainly just for him. Mm-hmm. And then halfway through my travels, I was like, should I make this a Facebook page? And so I, like a fan page, which, so we did. I made the fan book page in uh, Cusco in Peru and just started, po- I didn't really know what I was doing, just started Love posting Cusco. the photos on yeah. there. And then within a month, we had 60,000 followers. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it just sort of like kept there. And then Facebook changed the way they did pages. And then I was slow on the Instagram type thing. Like, yeah. I think all it would take is for someone to notice it on Instagram to get to get for it to get popular again. But yeah, well, it, Instagram's just there's just so much content out there now. Yeah, and when uh, it got the sixty thousand in yeah. the first little bit, it yeah. was like oh, like uh, uh, no one's doing whatever. It was yeah. new, and we did yeah. we were like people were posting their own pretend cocks which was really cool and yeah we did uh, and that's when it becomes big is when other people are getting involved yeah 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 alright just yeah just I've looked at Coffee Dad Coffee Dad yeah uh, he has uh, he's only got 2,620 followers so is that all fair enough but his latest tweets were coffee mm-hmm. dark coffee Hashtag making space coffee. <laughs> and then it's having a fresh cup of coffee. And look, his, his profile is just common dad who loves coffee too much. Yeah. So I guess the humour is the fact that he's like, it's a bit okay boomer and he's fucking up the mm-hmm. hashtags. That's what the humour is for me. Yeah. 
that's that's very funny in itself. It's very good, right? Yeah, and coffee's such a just a mundane, boring yeah. topic. Which is exactly what Bart is doing. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Because you know he is a massive, like clean living. Him and I have a lot in common, Bart Freeman. Yeah, nice. Well, shout out, shout out to Bart. Shout out to Bart Freeman. Yeah, it will take. Maybe we could tag him in this post. Yeah, maybe we will. Yeah. Buying some new coffee cups, outfit. I just. Yeah. Everybody follow Coffee Dad. Don't even worry. Yeah. You know what? All this talk is making me feel like a cup of coffee. Maybe you should have a pouring a cup of coffee. It's just relentless. Yeah. Every holding Did, two coffees. Would you like a coffee? No. Do your takeaway, mate. No. Uh, maybe a co- co- coffee is, is is normally like a hint as well. Like truly amazing. Like yeah. this is you have to scroll through everything, and it's just nice mug of coffee, made some <laughs> coffee, found some coffee, having a cup of coffee, late night coffee, getting ready for coffee, made some more coffee, one free coffee. It's and just the tall cup of coffee. He mixes yeah. it up. Hashtag drinking space coffee. <laughs> He's amazing. Hashtag yeah. another space coffee. Yeah. Uh, do you know what my son has been for Halloween? A ghost because he decided to drink and drive. <laughs> right? Yeah. That and that's him. That's this is that's the latest one. So we had to build up for that because he's he's. Poor thing, he's heartbroken, he's lost his no, son. No, he doesn't have a son, it's just a man. It's, whoever did this is a fucking genius. Like, you don't even know, I'm scrolling through pages and pages. Well, it could be anyone, couldn't it? It's like a... It could be Bart Freeman. Stirring my coffee. Going to drink some coffee. Always coffee, slowly drinking coffee. <laughs> Cup of coffee before church. Yeah. But I just, like, the Halloween one came up too quick. And but that's too funny. He's a ghost because he drank and drove. The better ones are, like... Oh, just that, that stuff just about... The, just, like, just everyone morbid. be careful on the roads out yeah, there. Yeah, just morbid. I love that. After commitment to a Commitment to a bit. But I just... When I found this out... I can't remember who put, put, put me onto it. But it is just... Genius. Like, he waits years before admitting the son thing. Wow. I'm on. Oh, no, I'm still on 2019. Wow. Do you think maybe I need to hit them with a bombshell with the Miley thing? Like, let them know why I've been doing it? I don't. I don't know. So. You don't, you don't have the answer to that. No. Just let it evolve. It's been a year. Yeah. Some days are harder than others. Having a coffee in remembrance of my late son. So he's caught on now. He's been, he's not as he's not as subtle as he once was. But it's very very funny. I I think it's a smart person, not a, that doesn't have a son. Because you wouldn't want to have a son and then joke no, about it. No, I think it's being. stupid. It's got to be stupid. If it's real, then it's not as good. It's just sad. <laughs> it's yeah, just but... become sad. Yeah, yeah. I still remember thing. everything from the day he was born, the smell of his perfect hair and his tiny fingers. Happy birthday, my sweet son, we miss you. Before that, going to get coffee, drinking some coffee, getting coffee, need more coffee, <laughs> holding two coffees, stirring coffee, got coffee, coffee too hot. Hashtag drinking, hashtag coffee, sipping coffee, watching coffee. Oh man. So good. Well, I'm just gonna have a piss myself, mate. Alright. And uh, I'll let, maybe plug what's happening on Sunday, and then we can um, put this podcast to bed, mate. Okay. Today would have yeah. been another birthday for my sweet angel. Please watch for motorcycles. It's beautiful. Uh, Sunday is uh, John Burnett versus Jason Donovan at Arthur Bar in on Curry Street in Adelaide. It's on every Sunday at two thirty. It's me playing the Jason Donovan board game with the audience. Um, and it's just a really fun game to play, which has a lot of uh, participation and, and that sort of thing. And we just play Jason at this board game. And it's, again, it's commitment to a very silly thing. Um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the gist of it. Every Sunday at 2.30. Awesome. Thanks for coming on the show, mate. If you call it a show, 
Well, it's well, I think just, we've covered a lot of things. It's just this podcast is just me hanging out with mates talking shit, really. And I think we've done that. Yeah, it's been like an hour and a half, I would say. Right? Yeah, so it's a lot to edit through. I might drop that down maybe to an hour or something. <laughs> yeah, keeping, right. keeping coffee, Dad, of course. Yeah, yeah, coffee, Dad. All right, cheers, man. And I'll, I'll come down Sunday too. <laughs>